Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. The Lord has spoken with me. Uh, the Lord Jehovah he has spoken with me about uh, a nation, a Spanish-speaking nation. Again, this past night, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me about uh, a Spanish nation where he took me to Jehovah El Olam, El Yon. He took me to a nation and they were speaking Spanish. So even as the Lord begins to send me towards the French Guiana this week, um, I see a Spanish nation. The Lord took me there this past night, and then I see a lot of sexual sin. The Lord has shown me a lot of sexual sin in that nation, it's a tourist nation, as I think they have these beach shows, and I see a lot of sexual sin. And the Lord took me in there and stood me there to observe, to observe everything that is happening in that land. And I see that uh, in that land, there is so much sexual immorality, in several cases, but the Lord narrows down and shows me this particular case of this uh, young man. He has lined up for himself. There are women. He has lined up for himself women, young and old, and is going about in sexual sin with them. They're involved in serious and horrible sexual sin. Very, very filthy sexual sin. The Lord shows me that. And then uh, I hear registration, registration. So I see some people have arrived, and I see that there is registration at the hotel. It looks like a resort where they have these uh, apartments, something like that, apartments. And so registration at the reception, registration. I hear registration. I hear them saying, we're going to do registration this way. So some young men appear, and uh, I see some women also appearing there. They are wearing trousers, and they're in a very immoral, immoral position. And some of them are not in trousers. They're just in very immoral, the most immoral dressing one can ever think about on that. That is the kind of dressing they have. And then these young men that arrive, young people, and women also arrive. Then they go into some serious sexual orgy. I can see, like, uh, young men going into sexual sin with so many other women. Some are older, much older than him also. And he's, he's making a lot of comments. Uh, I hear those comments which I can share here. And so um, the Lord makes me see and hear everything in that land. And then uh, they ask for cafe. Cafe in that land also there are these small kiosks where coffee is being brewed and people are buying coffee and they walk on uh, there they walk on. However, when they're involved in this sexual sin and then the Lord, Jehovah, the voice of the Lord speaks from heaven and says, who can now bring judgment to this land. And so when I bring judgment to that land in this dream, then I see now they are so much involved in sexual sin again as usual, but then now I see a tall tower, a very tall tower, which looks like a metallic tower, tall metal tower, and I don't know why I think that that cable looks like they are cables. I thought they are drilling uh, these towers that are used for drilling, which go very tall, and they have these woven wires, cables, for pulling things and drilling. That looks like what I see. I see again this tall metal tower, metal, tall metal tower. It goes all the way high up. And there are these cables that uh, the engineers use for drilling. Sometimes they are strong metals but woven like a rope and being pulled up and down. However, however, at this moment when uh, the, I have spoken just to this land in the dream, then that tower tall tower, metal tower with that long cables running by its sides as if they are pulling some drill pumps or whatever, the tower begins to shh violently as in an earthquake or a tremor that has taken place. And then 
at that time, we start to run away. The Lord put me within them and we run away. We begin to run away out of the fear that the cables are going to cut. But somehow, as we run away, we fear. I run with them and we are fearing as we run away that those cables, when they cut because of the tremor that's going on, when they will cut, then if they touch you, they would electrocute you. So those cables appear also to be like electric cables also. So there is a bit of running, serious running. We run away all the way up. Now from the beach, we are running uphill. And this is the situation that is happening uh, in that side on the Western Hemisphere. There is sexual sin that is happening in the Western Hemisphere by the beaches of those Latin American-speaking nations. And uh, I hear them saying, Cafe, uh, Cafe, yes, Cafecito, Cafecito, you know. Uh, they're, they're greeting in Spanish, you know. And they also ask me, the Lord put me there, they ask me. And then I, I tell them, no, give me Coca-Cola, you see. I speak to them like that. And the, the other people are taking coffee. And then now the sexual sin, the judgment comes on and I run with them. And this tall tower is shaking. And we knew that the cables are going to cut. And the fear is that when they cut, they would electrocute people. So I see the judgment of the Lord coming down to those nations in America, uh, the Spanish-speaking nations, and there is just so much sexual sin that has installed the reign of Satan in those nations, and it's a sexual sin that has also consumed the church, has entered into the church, the realm of uh, the house of the Lord, and uh, so I see a lot of running and the judgment coming unto those nations, even as I begin my mission towards the outside. But uh, the Lord is saying that this is the hour for repentance. That is the basic baseline reason for which he's speaking to me about uh, those nations out there. In the Western Hemisphere, the Latin American nations, this really includes all the North American nations also. But they are also caught up in the same issue of sexual immorality, sexual sin, and sexual perversion. It seems that the devil is now using one major instrument called sexual sin to kidnap many nations, to hold them at ransom and deny them of their eternal heritage from Jehovah. So there is going to be a tremendous judgment that will take place within the Latin American speaking nations, I see that country, the country they speak Spanish, and, the, and people, so many are arriving there for tourism and name it and everything. And then sexual orgy, I see that this young man was supposed to go into sexual sin with another woman here, but when she delayed a little, so he was going into sexual sin with this woman here, older than him, and he makes comments on about her, and then after that he's going to the next woman that he was supposed to have gone into sexual sin with. But uh, the Lord is saying that this is the hour for repentance, holiness, and righteousness, and going to holiness, and that the churches there have a central role in preparing nations if, to purge them off that gross sin, sexual sin, and that the church is the light of the nation. He's saying that when uh, when there's so much sin like this, it speaks so much about the condition of the church. And that is the very reason why the Lord speaks to me about this abhorrible sexual sin that is going on down there as I head in that direction to launch the missions of the Lord, the last missions of the Lord for this hour, that there is need for the church to restore, that she may operate with authority and clean up the sin in the land. However, the judgment of earthquake is coming. There's an earthquake that is coming in those nations, the Latin American nation, the Lord has shown me, sexual sin, this tall tower that you will see in the news when that earthquake takes place, you will see this tall tower, the metal tower, and you see the wire, wires that are woven like a rope, and so forth, the tremor, the trembling, the panic, the panic, the fear, the anxiety that will consume the land. These are the signs that the Lord spoke about in the Bible regarding the coming of the Messiah.